Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. As you can see right now, I'm on your website, anyonemighting.com. And some things I like right away on your website is that you have right away, it says here, contact us for a free quote. You got your phone number listed and then you already mentioned what you do. One thing I don't like too is how this just leads to the contact page. Anytime you have a website, you should always have a clickable phone number at the top left so they can contact you through a mobile device. And users' eyes always start on the left hand side of the page. And then when they make their way to the right, you want to have a contact form so they can reach you via email. And to give them more incentives to fill out the contact form, it should have something right above it that says, like, contact us for a free quote or a free estimate, like up here. And then going down to here, too, it's, that's a good image you have here. Yet, yeah, right here, like, that should. It says contact us, that should be contact us, but it's good you mentioned that you do lights, uh, landscape lighting, you got reviews, you got a blog, you got, even got your chamber of commerce, so you mentioned you have that logo right there. So, some things I would, also I would recommend too, anytime like Google's looking to like have, rank the best local websites, they want to make sure there's authoritative content on the homepage, you want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words. And then looking at your service pages as well, it's good how you have all these services listed, but you could also make you can also add more content here. Like you can have each of these can have their own page. So I'm just going to show you what happens when you search for landscape lighting in Rocky River, Ohio. The first thing we see is the map listings, and it's good you're in the top three. The top three people get the most traffic, and you own that space too. And once we leave the maps, then we get into the organic section. And this is where you want to have a spot on page one of this website. So we got porch.com, then we got Valley City Supply as well. We're going to check out this page. And then we go down. These people here are advertising, so they're paying to be on page one. So they're renting that space. As I mentioned, it's always better to own than it is to rent. I'm going to show you some stats about Google Search real quickly. So with page one, it gets 91.5% of the traffic, as you see there. Everything outside of page one gets almost nothing. So it's like if you're not on page one, it'll just be much harder for people to find you on Google. And 47% of the time, people conduct a Google search. It is for a local business service. So, yeah, if you're not being on page one, could be could miss out on some business opportunities. And not all page traffic, not all spots on page one get an equal amount of traffic. As you see here, the like first spot gets 32.5% of that traffic, spot 2 gets 17.6% of that traffic, and spot 3 gets 11.4% of the traffic. And then you see the very last spot gets 2.4% of the traffic. So it's really key to have one of those top three organic spots. It's already good you have the top three map listing, but if in addition, if you had that top three organic spot too to go along with it, you're going to be getting a lot more traffic coming to your website. And the more traffic you get to your Website that can lead to more phone calls and in turn more closed jobs and then more revenue for you to grow your business. So it's just to take a look at landscape lighting. Or no, my bet. Yeah, Valley City Supply. So this page was all about Rocky River, Ohio. They made a location page on it. And you want to make sure you see here they mention all the stuff here. Looks like they got a lot of words here too. So that's definitely something you can add to your website too have each serve uh each page or sorry each kind of pages about each location you serve so i'm sure maybe there's like mentor painesville madison or well jefferson andover let's see strongsville yeah maybe go all the way down to akron go to cleveland oberlin i'm also going to show you a trick too when you go into google and you do site let's see hold on a second so you type in site colon and you paste in the web URL. It says you appear eight times throughout the search engine. Pretty good. Well, I'm going to just show you what Valley City does. And right here, I recommend adding some keywords to go along with this MP1 lighting at the top. So, okay, I'll show you Valley City. They have over, they have 1,890, so that's 1,890 ways people can find them across the search engine. 
Google favors those websites with more pages, especially ones with valuable content. As you see here, when you type in Mike Tyson's in Google search, the first result is Wikipedia. So Wikipedia has so much information on Tyson, like on, on everything on his life from so many different sources. Google sees that as such valuable information that they rank them to the top. So it's just like you can do that with the landscape lighting too, like even by adding more blog posts all about landscape and giving your thoughts and opinions and all the, these facts, like Google will see that you're a thought leader and they'll move you up the rankings too for that. Okay. Looking at two here for Valley City Supply, it's like they ha see they have a lot of pages on features. For each service page you make, you want to make sure you have between 500 to 750 words to a valuable information. And having great and authoritative content just one piece of the puzzle. You also need a thing called backlinks, but not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more powerful than others. So backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. Think about it like this, like ranking a website is just like trying to be popular at a school. And in this in this regard, like getting a backlink is like getting a vote of confidence from a kid, whether it's popular or not. Like, for example, let's just say you put your website link on a popular kid. We'll say they're like homeandgarden.com, and they give you a follow. Google would see that be like, oh, homeandgarden.com likes anyone landscaping. We're going to move them up the rankings. Then you want to find more and more of the popular kids' sites. So link up to, well, we're going to say here in this analogy, too, let's say there's a new website or a new kid at the school named joeslighting.com. And they gave you a follow, Google would see it and be like, oh, a new kid is vouching for this guy. His opinion doesn't carry much weight. We're going to keep him ranked where he is in the popularity rankings. So I'm going to show you something, too. This is a tool I use called Uber Suggest. Here's Valley, here's an overview of Valley City Supply. See here they appear for over 6,512 keywords or that many. Yep, 6,512. And they appear on 631 backlinks. Let's just take a look at some of the keywords they appear on. Like Valley City Supply, if you wanted to run a Google ad, you couldn't run it for that keyword to try to take some of the traffic. I'm not sure if like any of these would be the most relevant for you, but you definitely want to make sure you're on like anything with lighting, even like electrician or like holiday lighting would be good ones too. And then we're, we're going to take a look at their backlinks as well. Hold on. So we got here, wait. All right, something is, okay, here we go. So like improvenet.com, you could possibly do that. Rumford.com, I'm not sure if that would be a good one. You can definitely get one from like, yeah, your Chamber of Commerce and Yellow Pages as well. Another thing too, to rank in the map portion of Google, I know you're already ranked there, but you need a thing called citations. So a citation is the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. You can actually put a citation on your website as well too. And like if you added like just say 50 to 100 plus more citations to your map listing, that would definitely help you retain the map ranking. But another thing, too, that will help you put you way ahead of your competition than you already are is to keep adding lots of authoritative content to the website as well as finding all those powerful backlinks to link up to. So if you have that high-powered website in addition to that already good map listing with way more citations, then you're going to be even further ahead of the competition. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.